I'm Samantha Lothale from Girl Scouts of Maine. I'm the program director here. Maine is located in the northeast corner of our country. We are the only state that touches just one other state. We have mountains to the ocean, forests to farms, and so we are lucky to have a lot of outdoor space. Welcome to all the girls watching this video from all around the country and the world. Today, we're going to make a daisy circle, or sorry, a nature circle for daisies. This is an activity from step two of the Go Learner badge for daisies. This badge focuses on learning how to protect the environment when you go outdoors. By making a nature circle, we're going to learn how to keep living things safe when you walk outside. This activity will take 15 to 30 minutes and you'll need a small amount of space outside, whether it's your backyard, on a trail, or uh, on a sidewalk. And the only thing you'll need is about three feet of string, ribbon, or yarn, something to be able to mark on the ground. In your space outside, you're gonna take this string and you're gonna lay it on the ground in a circle next to the sidewalk. Right next to me. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to mark a circle on the ground so that I can see what I have. All right, now that I've laid out my circle here right next to me, I am going to look and count how many things I find there. So this is going to be different wherever you are and whatever season you're in. So here in New England, in the early springtime, we are not finding a lot of bugs here, but I can see in my square, grass and moss and a few little other plants starting to grow. So what, what did you find in your square, or rather in your nature circle? And were there many of one thing and a few of another? Did anything surprise you? If you make a nature circle in another location, what do you think will be different or the same? What might you want to share with your family and friends about this? And what might you like to learn more about? By making your nature circle outside today, you explored living things in nature, where you live, and why it's important to stay on a path or a sidewalk. So if this were my natural circle right next to a path and I were walking and I stepped off of it, I might crush or harm some of that wildlife, whether there were bugs or plants that were growing there. So that's why it's important to stay right on the path. So as you are uh, looking to explore more activities, check out the rest of the activities in the Eco Learner Badge. You will learn about how you can protect all the nature around you. I really hope you take time to explore other activities on Girl Scouts at Home. Visit the Girl Scout shop at girlscouts.org or talk with your local council or troop leader to come up with more ideas. Thanks so much for joining me today and have a lot of fun outdoors.